Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I have been to Asda for our shopping. I don't have too much dinner um, stuff because it's kind of a top up for my parents coming this weekend and for them to sort of feed the boys because my husband and I are going to London for my birthday. So we are going to be eating out and then I've got a couple of quicker things for dinner. And then next week, I'm going to be using up everything that I've got in my freezer. So that will be coming next week. So I'll show you everything I've got in my fridge, freezers and cupboards. And the plan next week is just to buy some fruit and some bread and some milk and use up everything else that we have. So I will show you what I've got this week. The price will be on the screen at the end. And then I'll share with you a kind of half meal plan. Um, and then, like I say, next week we'll be back to a full meal plan. So I got some got some grapes and some cherries. They were two for two pounds. So I got the grapes and the cherries. And then I got some of the cheaper strawberries. Asda have now changed to just essentials instead of smart price, which is handy because if you shop online or you want to check the prices, you can just search just essentials and all of the cheaper products come up. So that's really handy. So well done, Asda. So I've got the strawberries and also the raspberries in that range, and they look absolutely fine. So that's good. I got some Granny Smith's apples because they're Archie's favorite. I got some bananas, and then the fruit and veg, I got some green beans, some carrots, and some salad tomatoes just for salads at lunchtime and sandwiches I'm really enjoying the cheese and tomato toasty at the moment for lunch so got some more tomatoes and then I also got a four pint of blue milk some oikos yogurts for my husband he still has a few of the greek ones I got last week so I just got four and then I've got some milky bar mousses for the boys pudding and also some more squirty cream for hot chocolates and then I've got a clover butter and two packs of the ham. They are two for three pounds. So I've got two of those and they've got a good date on them, 5th of July. And then I got, for two for four pounds, I got the unsmoked bacon medallions just for breakfast. And then I got a pack of the Cumberland pork sausages because I have one pack in the fridge. So I thought I'd get another pack and then my parents can have sausage chips and beans or peas or whatever they want with the boys so i've got some more sausages for that and then they have a pizza deal where you get two pizzas one side and a drink for six pounds so i got some of the pizza express dough balls for the side and then i got a large pepperoni pizza and a large cheese feast pizza and then the drink i chose some fanta I don't normally buy fizzy drinks, but these were part of the deal. And I sometimes like a Fanta in the garden if it's hot. Um, so I just got those as part of the deal. So I got them. And then the only other dinnery bit I got was a roast in the bag chicken. It's a large one and it's salt and pepper chicken. Serves four, but... Um, my parents are here, but the boys only eat a little bit of chicken. So that will be fine. I'm sure we can stretch that. So uh, we're going to have that on Sunday. And then I also got a lemon cheesecake for pudding on Sunday. And then the cupboardy bits, I got two tins of beans and sausages because the boys like those for breakfast and lunches. I got four squashes, so they're just the cheaper ones. I got two blackcurrant and two orange. I've started instead of buying cartons for Henry to take in his lunchbox, just filling up one of his small plastic bottles with some squash. So um, he's been taking blackcurrant. So I thought I'd buy extra squash instead of buying the cartons and the fruit shoot bottles and just like binning them. It's quite an expensive way to do it. And obviously you're wasting all the bottles. So I've got some of the squashes to fill those up. Then I've got a custard to go with some reduced apple crumbles that I bought the other day from the co-op and put in the freezer. 
So I've got a custard in preparation for whenever we have those. And then I got a large strawberry Swiss roll just for my parents to hear. So I thought it'd be nice to have some cake and a cup of tea. Got some Cheetos and some Ridge Cut meaty crisps for pet lunches and snacks. Got some more of my Yorkshire decaf tea. My hot flushes from my medication has been so much better since I swapped to decaf and I don't drink coffee. So um, yeah, I have decaf tea now and it's a lot better. So if you suffer with, you know, menopause or hot flushes or whatever, I would recommend trying decaf because that has helped no end. So um, I do stick to Yorkshire though, because I still love my Yorkshire tea. So I've got that one. I've got some Jammy Dodger minis for packed lunches. And then I've got some brunch bars and some caramel wafers as well for packed lunches and also for snacks. And I like to take a um, something to work with me for my tea break. So I normally take a cereal bar and an apple or something. So I've got those. Got two dairy milks. So I've got a dairy milk and a dairy milk caramel just because we like a little treat in the evening and I thought my mum and dad are here as well so we can just have some chocolate and a cup of tea in the evening and the boys like chocolate as well obviously and then the bakery bits I've got another fruit loaf that's Henry's favourite breakfast is to have two slices of fruit bread and some fruit on the side so I've got another one of those got another 50 50 loaf I've still got half in the bread bin but I've got another one just so we don't run out Archie requested some pancakes instead of crumpets this week. So I got him some of the Kingsmill Golden Pancakes. I got a pack of six white rolls for lunches because I thought it would be nice to have like a ham salad roll or something at lunch. And then the only freezer item I got was some of these home style crispy chips to go with the sausage and chips. So I've got some more of those and obviously there'll be loads left, but they'll just be in the freezer. And then the non-food items, I've got some non-bio capsules and some comfort. This is a new one, I think. What scent is it? Tropical Lily. I'm not sure if that's new or not. I haven't had it. Ultimate Care. So give that one a go. I got some fresh berry washing up liquid got 24 toilet rolls seven pound 90 or something but when i looked per roll that was the cheapest way to do it so i've got a big one of those and then the last thing is just duke's dog food and i got him the lamb and rice one and that was on offer this week as well for 350 i think it was so i got that as well so that is everything i picked up this week i'll put the price on the screen for you now and then I will share with you a kind of meal plan, but like I say, my husband and I are going to London and my parents will be here. And then we're going to be using up what we've got in the freezer. So I'm going to record a separate video of showing you what I've got in the freezer and the meals I'm going to plan from that. So yeah, I'll just pop it away and I will show you the meal plan. Okay, so tonight is Thursday and we're going to have pizza and dough balls. Tomorrow we're going out for dinner for my birthday. Saturday, my husband and I are in London and my mum and dad are going to do sausage and chips with the boys. And then Sunday, we will be home and I'm going to do a roast chicken. And then Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, I've just put freezer because I'm going to be looking what I've got in my freezer and planning another week of meals based on what I've already got. So that will be a separate video. So a slightly shorter meal plan this week, but obviously it's my birthday, so we're out and about. Thank you to everyone for wishing me a happy birthday and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.